what we're doing is objective and no one is doing what we're doing because they can't. They don't have our data, they don't have our algorithm, and they don't have the patent NFTs that we have, the IPB digital assets. Uh -huh. Hey, what's going on, everyone? And welcome back to the X Frontier. I hope all my Casper family out there is enjoying this beautiful weather that the markets are providing for us these last few days. If you know, you know. Lots of love and appreciation for all those new subscribers. And of course, all the OGs that have been here since the beginning. I appreciate you all very much. Now, today, with all the buzz circling around the IP we minting that's imminent any day now, I believe they're still on testing. I have not seen anything on the chain. The signals to me that minting has started. I wanted to actually start by talking about Advaza. But before we dissect this a bit more, you just heard from Leanne Pinto. That was the president of IP we. And before I continue, if you guys are hearing noises in the back, I have a six month old Rottweiler that's in the office with me. If he's out in the backyard, he's digging and destroying things. And I'm not the type of owner that's going to tie my dog down. But also, if I leave him in the rooms out there, he's going to destroy our, our house. So bear with me if you hear noises. I'll try to edit out as much as I can. But where was I at, right? So Leanne mentioned that no one else can do what they're doing. Let's take a quick look at IPWE before we can actually break down why that is. So IPWE has partnered with Hyperledger and Casper to tokenize patents on the Casper blockchain. Their smart and tangible asset management platform simplifies IP management and provides data-driven insights. Their smart pools consist of over 1,000 members, nearly tripling in less than a year. Now these pools allow member companies to monetize their IPs. So jumping over to their partners, remember that Leanne said that no one can do what IPWE is doing because they don't have their algorithm, they don't have their patents, and they don't have their data. IPWE sources their data from Clarivate. They are a global leader in data insights and analytics. Over 20 million researchers at over 4,700 institutions in 98 countries base their research planning and budget decisions on the content and analytics they find in Clarivate Web of Knowledge. Just highlighting some of their partners here, we have IBM, Hyperledger Foundation, DLA Piper, which is a large multinational law firm in over 40 countries. We have KMPG, one of the world's leading professional services that provides audit and tax services to many of the world's leading organizations in over like 245 countries with about 265,000 employees. So what is Advasa? Advasa was founded back in 2017 in Japan. They're aiming to change the conventional concept of payroll or payday, which is going to allow for more flexible pay cycles for employees. They have a global patent strategy for 83 countries, becoming a global company of the new era following GAFAM, which is an acronym that stands for Google, Apple, Facebook, Amazon and Microsoft. Now Advasa with its basic patent for a new payroll concept that contributes to society is partnering with companies around the world to achieve financial inclusion that saves workers around the world. Now keep in mind the NDAs, non-disclosure agreements are a real thing. No company names have been dropped as to who they're partnering with, but listen to Itaro Inahu. He's the global managing director for Advasa and this is coming from the blockchain hub in Davos as he lays out the potential for this. Recently, we integrated an API with a significant time and attendance management companies in Japan that expand our potential user base to more than 150,000 companies and 3 million workers. Advasa's goals are to increase financial inclusion through their earned wage access, or also known as EWAs, which allow for that instant payroll access to employees and to scale their technology. Almost all EWA services use pay in advance technology and Advasa holds extensive and strong foundational patents for pay in advance technology in countries like the US, Japan, 
and other countries enabling compliance protection for companies that provide EWA services globally. Let's first look at financial inclusion through the EWA use case, and then we'll look at how they're scaling their technology through the use of IPWE. According to the Center for Responsible Learning, the EWA market has nearly tripled from 2018 to 2020, growing from $3.2 billion to $9.5 billion. The most up-to-date valuation I found was data from 2021, which had it pegged at $12 billion. With EWA services, businesses can now deploy these type of services. In a poll conducted by end of year 2020, 80% of participants indicated that they would be open to using EWA for payment processes, which already has been used by companies like Walmart, Uber, McDonald's, Burger King, Domino's, Chili's, and other large service providers. With Advasa's US-based partner IPWE, whose platform bases adopt on Casper blockchain technology, Advasa will formally launch its groundbreaking EWA technology with the blockchain. So they're gonna be launching on Casper. Now to boost the use of EWA technologies in the US and position Advasa as a pioneering payroll access technology, Advasa has partnered with IPWE to make its essential EWA patent portfolio accessible for license to US companies. These streamlined payment methods that are quickly and transferable to any bank account, card, or e-wallet, and now actually have adopted the support for cryptocurrency payments are going to be accessible to anyone, making it easier to include people in the new economy. So how do they plan to use IPWE? Said earlier, Advaza is having their first use case in the United States with Casper Labs. And basically what they're launching is the ability to have human generated IP valuations through Casper. So this article here is specifically from Advasa website and it is uh, Japanese, so I had to translate it using Google. Now I can't copy the link because it does have Japanese characters, but I'm sure if you just Googled this full description, you will get the link to this article. Continuing on, so IPWE, uh, their current tech stack generates a valuation for patents that's based on AI technology. Advasa is going to be adding an expert opinion on top of that, so adding the human layer. This state-of-the-art technology owned by Advasa will further enhance the value and liquidity, two keywords, of intellectual property and patent owner assets by adding and complementing IPWE's AI-driven asset platform, CIOM, with opinion-generated IP in patent experts. This will further strengthen the partnership between Advasa and IPWE. So how will adding a human layer to this, an expert opinion, enhance the value of an IP? I think it, it goes back to what we talked about earlier, is that the more information and transparency you have around a particular asset, the more people are going to trust that information, the more people are going to rely on it, to make decisions. And I think here now with having expert opinions generated by a third independent party, which is not hired by the asset owner or the potential licensee or the buyer. So you've got an independent individual or a group of individuals making a de collective decision on what that IP assets valued from a coverage perspective, from a validity perspective, and from a dollar amount perspective. And what that does is it, it creates like a market making function at that point. So now I've got a reference number that the buyer and seller can hopefully rely on, and then they can negotiate around that number. I believe that Advasa is going to be one of the partners that is going to be minting as part of the 25 million NFT patent deployment. Now I asked Renal Manahar, the CEO of Casper Labs in the Telegram chat, but per an NDA, he was not able to comment as to whether this was a different direction or this was part of the patent deployment. But anyways, tokenizing this pay in advance technology is going to bolster the adoption of EWA in the US and globally. Instant access to paychecks is currently recognized as being in high demand among gig workers and low income earners. I used to do Uber and DoorDash so I know all about that instant pay. But leading financial experts and auditing firms are calling it a good technology for everyone and a $1 trillion opportunity. Advasa is working with high class professionals such as intellectual property and patent experts to develop EWA solutions that are good for everyone. Now, whether this is part of the NFT deployment that's coming up or if this is a completely different 
collaboration between these companies, it still shows that Casper is out there creating real value and hopefully we see a lot of good come from this. Lastly, wanted to share this while we're on the topic of NFTs. This was an article published by Ralph Kubli of the Casper Association back in June of 2022. How verifiable minting can combat fraud in the NFT market, which is still a prevalent problem today. In January, the world's largest NFT marketplace, OpenSea, admitted that more than 80% of the NFTs created on its platform were fraudulent. Now, this has led to the creatorship problem in NFTs, which is someone minting NFTs from assets they don't own, basically duplicating. If someone can download an image of another person's artwork, they can easily create NFTs out of it. Indeed, the original artist can too, but there's been no established way to separate the authentic NFTs from the fraudulent ones. All that we can prove is that they are both the original themselves, which isn't beneficial for combating this kind of fraud. Now, one way to fight back is through trusted execution environment, or better yet known as T's. Now, these environments allow minters to execute code in a safe manner that cannot be tampered with, as computation within the T can't actually be accessed by any other program or even the actual operating system itself, and that's key. Now, this solution here serves as proof that no third party was involved in the minting of said NFT. Now, the keys, metadata, and the NFT itself can all be stored together in a secure fashion, either on an IPFS cloud storage provider or even offline in cold storage and it would be impossible for anyone to reproduce the work with the same credentials. Any duplicates lacking this seal of authenticity should be regarded as fraudulent, and exchanges could even be built to only accept NFTs that have been verified. Already, some blockchains like the Casper Network have begun to implement such solutions, but it's likely only the beginning. Now, using a trusted execution environment known as T, in combination with hardware security modules provided by NFT infrastructure provider Veritech, the solution aims to make NFTs minted on the Casper network safe for mass market adoption by solving NFT authentication and security challenges such as misplaced or stolen keys and lost metadata. Veritech's team of blockchain and computer science experts from MIT, ETH Zurich, and Harvard will build a highly secure NFT platform that is tailored for mainstream usability that allows also for storage of the digital creations anywhere the creator or owner desires while ensuring the authenticity verification step. The Casper team got a chance to catch up with Stefan Hoser. He's the CEO of Veritech over at the NFT NYC this past week. Have a listen. My name is Stefan. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Veritech, a smart contract access management company. Last year, $10 billion were lost just because of poor access management. And we are building easy to use tools that are very secure for projects to have a good governance around their contracts. We are currently in the process of applying to a grant with Casper. We think it's a perfect fit for the Casper protocol because Casper is also very usable for enterprises and Casper also has great features around upgradability on the smart contract side, but also on the NFT side. You can head over to their website, veritech.com, implement best practice access control to your smart contract within minutes. You can see some of the companies that they're trusted by, Amazon, Casper, Signum. So how it works, transparent access management, define which contract interaction has to be signed by your contract guardians, even work with external developers and stay in control secure deployment and upgrades, one-click deployment and upgrades of your smart contracts, all secured by the world's most trusted multi-sig wallet, Gnosis, meaningful audit trails, create a comprehensive and human-readable audit trail for your project. Each transaction is easily explained and documented. Not only is Casper a great fit because of the upgradability of their smart contracts and NFTs, but also because of Casper's unique account management model, that provides a high degree of flexibility and control for enterprises. Now, the reason I say this is because Casper 2.0, when it is released, it's going to unify accounts and contracts, meaning that each account and each contract is gonna have the same properties or characteristics. If Veritech is building smart contract access management solutions, it makes sense. 
I'm excited to see what is actually coming from this grant, um, if it all goes well. And if it does, it's going to make contracts and NFTs on Casper even more secured. Well, that wraps it up for today. If you're still watching to the end, you truly are a pioneer in this space. Also, if you're new to the channel and you found value in my work, please consider liking and subscribing. And as always, pioneers, remember, nothing ventured, nothing gained. This is the way.